Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Today we have, once more, after, after quite a few weeks, we have a full house. And it's always such a joy to have so much energy right here on the mat. The, la, about four or five episodes ago, it was just Sandy and me on the mat. And I think we had enough energy between the two of us to make up for everyone else, but now the joy has multiplied because a few episodes back, we also had George come in on our show, and George is a producer here to my left. He's hiding here in the chairs behind us. George is a producer at Manhattan Neighborhood Network, and he is always helping everyone crew as well. So welcome back to the show, George. And just so you know, and so our viewers know, this episode is being dedicated to you. You missed the standing sequence, so we're going to do some adaptations. Today's episode is about chair yoga. We're going to adapt some of the simple standing stretches that we can adapt and do it while we're sitting in a chair. So you could practice these stretches, mostly it'll be upper body stretches. We'll not do too much of the legs, but we will still do the best we can. You can do these stretches in an aircraft, sitting at your office desk. You don't even have to take your shoes off. You're right on the chair and you just have to work your upper body. To my extreme right, someone who disappeared from my radar for a while is back with us. Taisha Johnson, popularly known as Esha J. That's your entertainment name, right, Esha? Mm -hmm. And please tell our viewers a little more about yourself. I'm Esha J. Esha. Event planner, party promoter, and author. As I mentioned way back when I first came on the show, I just relocated from North Carolina. That's right, yeah. And I love yoga. You love yoga, yes. and now you love New York as well. Yes. And we hope you will love Yoga Express as much as you love yoga. I will, I do. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I remember the last time you came, you brought your little ones with you and your nephew and niece as well. Mm -hmm. So for viewers at home, please know this is a very family-friendly show. You can bring your kids, your family, your friends. Bring people with you to share the joy, to share the energy and the ambience of the studios. Talking of ambience, I'd like to reintroduce Sandy Kane to my immediate right. Sandy, thank you for the great energy you brought in the last oh, six, thank five you so episodes. Much. God sent me here. God sent you here. You're Sandy is a M &M. producer at M and and I just literally drafted you. You were watching some, of, looking at some of the notices on the board, and I drafted oh. you. <laughs> well, I said, gee, I miss my step class and my That's spin right. class, and um, I always take uh, Pilates and yoga too. And this is like, thank you. It's meant to be. You're very thank you. Welcome. I mean, I, I really appreciate everything you taught me <laughs> and you're teaching me. And, and this chair thing is really good. Like you say, the on a plane yes, or on a Greyhound exactly. bus. That's right. <laughs> do you well, ever like, Greyhound, take a Greyhound? Well, Greyhound, at least you might be able to do the stretches on an aircraft. Some of these stretches may be hard because, you know, you're going to trip somebody up in the aisle. But you know what? You can still do upper body stretches. That's what I'm saying. The That's upper right. Bodies. We can just turn around and say hello to the guy next door behind us or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or sometimes you have a middle seat and it's That's like right. vacant. That's right, yes. And I always try to sit by the window. Right. And it's really good because sometimes it gets crazy, especially if you're going to Europe. Like That's you always right. Long go. Trip. I go to India a lot and oh. it's like 19 hours. Wow. Well, 12 hours and then there's a break oh, wow. for about a couple of hours in Brussels and then another eight or 10 that hours. Is like, it's a long flight. Let me tell you, that's a hard <laughs> thing to do. But you know what I just said? Worth it, but I actually get up from my seat, go back to the galley, and I stretch over there. I do. I like to do the full stretch because when I'm sit, usually when I'm seated in an aircraft, I go economy. Obviously, that's all I can afford. So the seats in economy, as it is, are getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. Even the seated stretches are getting harder to do. So I just go all the way to the back because I need movement for my legs. Mm -hmm. So my blood who stops. Who doesn't? It's just, that's a greyhound boy. When I used to take greyhounds <laughs> cross country, your legs. I mean, really, they get crazy. And it's just like. Yeah, and as, uh, you have to, I, I just massage a lot. That's times. right, you, you need massage. to do that. And on the aircraft, they give you a few exercises. They ask you to move your ankles, but oh, yeah. that's not enough for us. Sometimes we need a whole body movement, but you're yeah, right. Yeah, how do you, 19 hours. That's right, that's a long flight. Yeah, fortunately, we have a four hour break. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Besides this yoga fitness program, we have a content website, www.yogaexpress.com. And if you come on this show with us and stretch with us right here, 
And since Sandy was drafted in the last minute, I will have to mail you a copy. You, uh. We will share with you a copy of my third title, Yoga Secrets, which has two plus eight ailment-specific cards inside. So we, what we do is we've actually separated. We have mixed and matched certain postures from a simple sequence that I call 48 plus. So 48 safe, low impact stretches, which I like to call the bridge, a bridge sequence because you learn all these stretches in every yoga school. Mm -hmm. This particular program is intended to bridge you between your practice sessions. So think of us as a link in your fitness chain. That's all we do. We're not doing any special stuff, no special effects. We don't teach you to levitate. We don't teach you to pull a jumble with your teeth. You're not going to be going on a magic flying carpet, no magic cures. It's just to help you stay healthy, just to stay sane, stay healthy, and through the body, through maintaining the body, just reach your mind, just reach your maximum potential. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna take my little cheat sheet with me, we're all going to come on the chairs. We're going to sit down on the chairs, and we're going to jo join George. George is our VIP today, so we're going to sit down on the chairs. We're going to adapt. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, George. Now, those of you who are at home and always in seated uh, in a job that may, uh, has you sitting for a long time, this is a good one. Try to get a chair without a handle. It, there's less restriction to your movement. So that's why we've chosen these chairs. They're very light. Come forward on your chair, halfway forward. So you don't want to be too... <laughs> Isha looks very comfortable. She's thinking, okay, well, I'm just going to sit like this. I'm just going to wait. Now, you're like the Swiss uh, finishing school. Look at her, all very <laughs> prim and proper. Now, come halfway forward in your chair. So you don't want to come too much on the edge. You don't want to fall off. So be safe. Now, keep your feet where they are. Feet are closed. Knees are closed in. Place your palms in front of your chest. We're going to go through the standard posture, standing posture. So the first one is arms raised. Inhale, take your arms up. Many of these postures can be adapted to seated, uh, to, uh, to sitting in a chair. So let's hold it. Exhale, and then bring your feet up, bring your legs out so your feet are flexed. Exhale, fold from the hips. So bring your legs all the way out, George. That's it, beautiful. Now, if you're able to reach your toes without flexing your feet, the way George has got his feet flat on the floor, very nice, take your palms all the way over. Now, if I keep my feet flat, my hands don't go over my feet, but that's fine. I can place my palms on the top of my feet. Then keep exhaling, hold this posture. And then inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. <coughs> And now for the knee bender in the third posture, you're gonna bring your feet out. I'm gonna move this card a little bit right there. Bring your legs out, about hip width apart. Come to the edge, and you don't want to get up. You want to just stay where you are actually with George. You stay where you are. The three of us, we're literally, this is called a, uh, you know, you're sitting in an imaginary chair, so you can't resist. Let's very lightly lift our buttocks up. George, you stay where you are. And feel the burn in your thighs. After a couple of minutes in this posture, let's sit down back. Let's not fall off very carefully. After a couple of minutes, exhale and low. After a couple of minutes, you'll feel your thighs burning. And that is a good workout in itself. You can lose a lot of calories just in that standing squat. It's a great posture. But for us, we lifted our buttocks. For George, it's more the arm movement in this one. I'm going to take you through a posture called the triangle. And George, for your sake, I'm going to turn this way. So we're all going to come, turn. Uh, over the front right corner of the chair. Let's all turn that way, because George needs to see how we're doing it. We, Aisha and Sandy, you can listen to the instructions. And then what you're gonna do is bring both the legs as far out as you can, George. Be safe, bring the, both the legs, spread the legs out. And then turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. Inhale, the triangle posture we're adapting. Inhale, take your arms up to shoulder height. Lean a little to your right, exhale, Dip your left hand, little to the left, I'm sorry. Left hand in front of the left ankle. Take your right arm all the way up. And then you want to adapt it further. Take your right arm, I'm sorry, the other one, yes. Oh, actually, Aisha, what are you, what? you've got your leg all the way out. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm going to try and get that. Good, good. No, no, you're doing right. <laughs> left arm. Take your right arm all the way overhead. Sandy. Okay. 
<laughs> you you guys are going great. I think I confused you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw both of you with the leg outstretched, and I'm thinking, why am I not stretching my leg out? All right, very gently. Inhale, let's come up. And let's fold the left leg in. Extend the right leg out. So I'm going to come forward just a little more. Inhale, take it. Now, this part is going to be hard, so we're going to have to turn to this corner. That's right. Turn to the left corner of the chair. And then bring your right leg out as far as you can. Turn your left foot in. So your right foot is turned out. Upper body faces the side of the mat. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Lean a little to your left. Exhale, dip to your right. Why do I keep saying left and right? <laughs> Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take your left hand all the way up and then challenge yourself. Take your left arm all the way overhead. Very nice. Take your left arm all the way overhead, George. You can do it. Good. Inhale. Let's come up. So we've actually combined three postures. Exhale and release. The next posture we are going to skip because it's a back bend. But for George's sake, we might... Would you want to sit this one out? The next posture. I don't want you to try this. For those of you who are sitting in a chair without arms, this might be a good one to try. It's not going to be easy, but you just want to work your back. So you don't want to go too deep. Just place both your hands. Come on the edge of the front left of your chair. Place your hands on the seat of your chair. Now, these are not very strong chairs. So if you hear any cracks, one of us, my most likely will be me, will be falling on the floor. Take your shoulders back. So you're already opening up your chest. Inhale, lift your head up and then lean back. So try to go back as far as you can comfortably go. Your legs stay where they are. Your legs or your knees are apart, about six to eight inches apart. This is just to feel a little bit of a strengthening in your low back. Inhale, let's come up. Then this time, George, the next one you can join us. We're gonna do a forward fold, a seated forward fold. Bring your legs out as far as you can and then put your brakes on in both the legs. We're actually, in fact, do we have enough room to do this sitting face forward? Let's try that. Let's tag. Okay, good. So I'll go forward as well. So maybe. All right. Yeah. George, you're okay there? Yeah. So you and uh, Taisha, you and uh, Sandy are back. Aisha and I have come forward. So, okay, that's it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Always come, don't come too far forward on your seat and don't get too comfortable in the back. You want to be in the midpoint of your chair. So bring your legs out as far as you can. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. We're going to fold over all the way as far as we can. Place our palms on the floor. But when you do that, your buttocks will tend to lift off. You want to stay grounded on the chair. Exhale and fold. Careful, that's fine. Can you bring your knees out, George? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Stay where you are. Safety is more important. The rest of us, we're going to come down as far as we can. And you should still feel a beautiful stretch on the adductors, oh, yes. the inside of your thighs, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in this one, it's going to be a little hard for our forehead to touch the ground. So we're going to stay right here. Then press with your palms. Let's come up. And the next one is really easy to adapt to a chair. Bring your legs close together. And then let's place our heels on the rim, the bottom rim of the chair, whatever that's called. I'm not a native English speaker, so you have to forgive my English. Here, place your heels on the, what is that called? The rim. The, the rim. rim, okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> the rim. Now, place your palms in front of your chest. <clears throat> Inhale, this one will be nice, you like it, George. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest. The one we just came out of is Adha Chandra, half moon or crescent moon. Now I'm gonna come forward in my chair because I need to take my arm out. So we don't want, notice that we also have a low back chair, so that might help. Hands are in front of the chest, palms are facing down, elbows are raised. Remember what we told you a few episodes ago, elbows raised. When the elbows are raised, they help you stay in the moment. We're gonna exhale, swing our right arm out, bring it back in as we inhale, then the left arm goes out, inhale back to the center, and then we're not gonna do the hip movement. After that, we're gonna transition. Let's see how well we can do the balance. Balance is not gonna be easy in a chair. Mm -hmm. Exhale, swing your right arm out to the back. Come on, George, you can do this. Very nice. 
follow your hand with your eyes. Inhale, back to the center. The reason for the eyes, the, the reason we need the eyes to follow your hand is so the whole body will twist and also it improves your peripheral vision. Because we sit in front of computers, we always look straight into that screen, whatever, 16 inch screen. So many of us lose a peripheral vision. You cannot see enough. That's why we have exercises in yoga called trataka, which is eye exercise. You move your eyes through the eight <coughs> ocular points. That's for another day. Okay. Exhale. Do you need some water, Sandy? That's all right. It's all right. Okay. Exhale, it's swing your legs. <laughs> we are all going to go bar hopping. After this. Uh, Exhale, swing your left arm out. Follow your hand with your eyes. Inhale, look back, George, at your left hand. Very nice. Inhale, back to the center. And in this one, we're not going to try the hip movement because we're sitting. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. This time, take your hips with you and see how much deeper you can go. We are seated, but we're going to glide over on our chair. Exhale, swing to the right. Sandy, yeah, that's it. You can just move your hips all, all the way around, Sandy. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. The other side, Joe. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, and release. The next one, in fact, quite a few of the balance postures. It's a little hard to balance on one foot because we're sitting on our butt. So we're not standing. We're going to skip the balance and go to, actually, you know, the... The one, we could do the Natraj, but I think I won't do that today. We'll do a few. The two early balance ones we won't do. We won't do the tree and the balancing scales. Place your right foot forward just a little bit. Left knee is just parallel, not parallel, what is that? Perpendicular to the floor. Inhale, hold your right big toe with your right hand. Exhale and extend. You can hold your whole foot, George. You've got socks on, so you want to hold your whole foot. Try, try. And then if you want, take your right leg out to the side. Now I have my limitations in this posture, so I'm going to do the best I can. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, and release. So George, what do you want to try and do? When you're doing the left leg, you may want to hold the whole left foot. Yeah. Inhale, from the inside, hold your left big toe with your left hand. OK, good. Exhale, and extend. If you want to take further, now for the sake of balance, you don't want to fall off, feel free to hold your chair. Take your left leg out to the side. Inhale back to the center. Exhale and release. There is one more which is a beautiful balance to this posture. Let's try that. Take the left leg. So you're sitting on the front left corner of your chair. The dancing Natraja, dancing Shiva or Nataraj Asana, dancer's pose. Take the left knee back, as far back as you can, and then hold on to the left ankle with your left hand. Now, I'm going to bring my right foot forward just a little bit. Inhale the right arm up. Yeah, bring your right arm up. Exhale, dip your torso. See how far you can take your left leg up. I don't think my left leg is going to go very high, but I can bring my torso down. So it's still getting a balance. Inhale, come up. Exhale, and release. Turn to the front right of the chair, and then you have the right corner of the chair jutting out. So we're going to keep the left leg where it is. Left knee is perpendicular to the mat. Take the right leg back, and I'm going to sit on the edge. I'm so worried this chair will, oh, it's already giving way. Don't worry about this. No. <laughs> Hold on to the right ankle with the right hand. Try this leg, George. Yeah, right ankle with the right hand. Inhale the left arm up. And George, you don't have to get your left arm up. If you can hold on to your ankle and then fold forward. Oh, very nice. Fold over. You may want to fold over your left thigh because that way you're able to rest and you don't fall forward. You don't want to fall, fold over into the vacant space in the center. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release. And the next one is this, what is this, Swiss high school posture that uh, Taisha had as she came in, you cross your legs over. Oh. So the next one, cross your right leg over the left calf. And some of you may find it very comfortable to actually wrap your right foot around your left ankle. For me, that's a little bit uncomfortable, but a little bit of She's discomfort good. is okay. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, she must yeah, have gone like to Swiss boarding like school. <laughs> now, right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. The idea is to just twist in opposite directions. It's okay if you don't do it fully. George, that's fine. Just cross your arms. 
Left elbow over the right, twine your palms together and then just make your adjustments if you need to. Just bring your elbows out. So Garudasan, feels good, right? Oh yeah. See, that's the thing, to, um, Sandy, we never really stretch this part of the shoulder. So when you go forward, it actually helps you centralize, you center yourself. Inhale, release, and let's switch legs. Let's keep up with Madam Swiss model school. Now wrap your left knee over the right and try to tuck your left foot behind the right ankle. To do that for me, I need to actually bring my foot to one side. I'm gonna try and center. Oh, me right? too. Oh, you, so it's okay to do that? Yeah. All right, okay, as long as my foot stays there. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, she's done it. It's obvious she's comfortable oh. in it. I don't wanna hurt myself. This is an adaptation just for George. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> this yes, is not really George. yoga. <laughs> not really uh, the traditional yoga that I oh, teach, but oh. we're adapting it for George. This one's for you, George. Oh. Oh, no, you don't have to lift your knee. Do your arms. Oh, yeah. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip the right elbow over the left. So it's always opposite, right? So if the left knee is up, right arm goes up. And twine your palms together. So this is an adaptation of the eagle posture, eagle or garuda. Those of you who are comfortable in this, exhale and fold. Inhale. Let's come up. And then untangle our legs, untangle our arms, and relax. Now, the next posture is really very comfortable, very easy. Place your heels on the rim of the chair. Again, you're a little further back than midpoint, not too far back. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Cross your palms over to the opposite elbows. Great, thank you, Josia. Exhale. And actually, I tend to bring my feet out just a little bit. I think it's a good idea because we're going to fold over now. So bring your feet out, feet forward just a little. Exhale, fold from the hip. Bring your feet forward, George. You don't want to fall. Be careful. Yeah. Fold from the hip. Now, we only have three seated postures, and they're not very complicated. The adaptations are much simpler than the postures. Place both palms on the ground beside your feet. And then we're just gonna hold it for just a moment. Now we're gonna take you through the next one, the downward facing dog with a little bit of adapta adaptation. Take your right foot on the outside of the chair and then take the left foot on the outside, the left side of the chair. You can push your buttocks all the way back into the chair and now, if you're comfortable, keep your weight, body weight, on the back of the chair, and um, you're doing, okay, you know what? Bring your legs out, bring your knees out. A little bit, yeah, it's good for you. And then we're gonna exhale. The whole upper body, or at least part of the upper body, is resting on the chair. Exhale, and dip. Now, if your heels touch the ground in this one, that's great, I'm gonna try that because it's less tension as well. Inhale, press with your palms, let's come up. Then two, two postures, one into the other. The last two standing postures, we have three minutes left, we're doing well. No, 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 we're not gonna stand. Come to the front right edge of your chair, not too close to the edge, but about three quarters. Yes, and then place your left knee right there, take your right knee as far back as you can. Yes, the right right leg goes back. So take come to the front edge. Yes. On the outside of the chair. That's it. That's it. Take your right leg from the outside, George. Oh, from the outside. That's it. Wow. Yes, that's it. Good. Now as far back as you can go. You don't have to go too far back. This is the equestrian or the Ashra Sanchala, both hands on your left knee. Now you're on the other side, are you? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whichever leg you're doing is fine. Um, Whichever knee you have up, place both your hands on that knee. And now we're gonna take one last twist. Left knee is up, inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Now this time, because your toes are curled in, it could be a balance issue, so be very careful. Even in seated position, this posture needs some balance. Inhale, let's come up come out of that. And since Taisha went to the other side, I'm not gonna say which leg for those of you who are doing the way Sandy and I are doing, that's okay, we'll go on the other side. So turn to face the front left corner of the chair. Place your right foot very close to you. 
So right foot is flat. Take the left leg as far back as you can and then you want to make your adjustments. Bring yourself to the front left corner of the mat. So I'm going to use my toes. I'm going to curl my toes in and push my leg back. Now, we are already in Ashwa Sanchala. Both palms on your right knee can hold yourself up. And if you want to take this a little further, we're going to fold over the left, the right knee. Inhale, the left arm up, right knee is up, left arm goes up. Exhale, dip the left elbow, the other elbow, George. Left elbow over the right knee, very nice. Place your right palm on top of the left and hold your positions. Remember, hold is always hold your postures, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of that. And let's all come, we can stay right here in the chairs. We're not doing the seated postures, all the standing ones were adapted just to accommodate well, you having missed the standing postures. So, anyone has suggestions to adapt any more? We have a couple of minutes, so we have the luxury of discussing this. Would you like to adapt anything in a slightly different way? Because we're not really, haven't done this very often. Were you comfortable doing that? Mm -hmm, I was very comfortable. Yeah? Actually, you know what, I'm curious. Well, right oh, that's okay. <laughs> as long as you do both sides, that's the thing, Isha. The important thing is, it doesn't matter which side we start first. In a classroom, it's easier to give instructions, but if you do do one side, your mind automatically switches to the other side. So you'll automatically do the other side. But the two postures we did not do were the tree and the, uh, the balancing scales which if you have suggestions on how to adapt, which is number 11 and 12. So if you have suggestions, you can come back with it. This one. Yeah, no, we couldn't do because you literally have to get all your weight. I'm sure there is a way to do that. But feedback, we have the credits rolling. We probably still have a minute. So if you have any suggestions, you want to give it a try? We can try it. All right, why don't you help us? Come on. Well, how can I? Well, oh, tell me what, what we can do. We, I, we don't want to fall off, so we're going to do the best. OK. It seems like we have to sit, I mean, All right. stand for that one. OK. Like, unless we kind of like. OK, all right, let's try, just raise the left leg up. OK, mm -hmm. let's do that. Thank you. <laughs> Come to face the front left corner of the, of the uh, chair. And then, thanks to Taisha, we're going to adapt this one. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Take your arms all the way overhead. Come on, Judge. I'll try. Exhale, fold, and then lower your upper body, raise your left leg. My left leg is not going very high. <laughs> I'm not used to this. But you know, that's a great idea. Thank you. Inhale, let's come up. The idea is to feel the leg going up because then we have to use the lower abdominal muscles. Exhale and release. Let's switch to the other side. Turn to the front right of the chair. I keep saying mat because I'm so used to it. Come a little closer to the edge. That way you'll be able to take your left, right leg back. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms 